All right, guys. It's getting to be a fine early summer day here. On Saturday afternoon, June 12, 2021, uh, heading to Sister Sandy's. So, uh, this is the bridge that was out on June 1st right here. Uh, <laughs> this bridge was out there. You know, that's the day that Dulcinea was supposed to be coming to uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm to be my Doomer chick forever. She was uh, supposed to be crossing this bridge. And I remember the warning signs. Bridge out on June 5th. Observe detour signs. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, back crossing the bridge that Dulcinea never crossed. Uh, I guess she burned the bridge instead of crossing the bridge. But anyway, speaking of Dulcinea, of course, uh, surely you guys did not think I was finished speaking of Dulcinea. So I do want to thank Dulcinea for something else. Uh, thinking of all the ways to turn the lemons that Dulcinea left me into lemonade and I thought of another one you know I was when I was reviewing over there on Collapse Chronicles that uh, latest horse shit hopium soaked uh, descent into madness by that uh, deluded old fart David Attenborough and that guy Johan the Rockstrom about breaking boundaries about you, you know how what they do is like in so many of these documentaries for a solid hour they spell out spell out in unambiguous straightforward English that we are completely fucked on this planet that we're fucked there is no way out uh, they they uh, they do not offer one iota, one tiny little shard of evidence that we, this planet, is going anywhere but hell, but to hell in a handbasket. And then they come out and, you know, in the last 15 minutes and they dump this unadulterated load of fucking horse shit uh, on us that if we can if we can only turn things around that uh this story will have a happy ending yeah like you're you're you know like you're in some fucking massage parlor and the woman jacks you off uh in the last five minutes of your massage you know that kind of happy ending yes and we all uh and we all come together and in one joyous, happy ending, wet dream uh, on this fucking planet. Unadulterated horseshit. They, they, there is not one shred of evidence of, of that, that there is anything to, to be fucking hopeful about that we're going to turn this fucking train around or anything. I, I, I mean, not one fucking shred, 100% of the evidence. 100% of the evidence, uh, the scientific evidence, is that we are so fucked. We're done. Uh, you know, and, and, and I did this rant about, you know, how these fucking hopium-soaked apocalyptimists, how they fucking cling to, to this unadulterated horseshit that there's any fucking hope. You know, how can anybody with a fucking brain, uh, you know, David Attenborough and Johan Rockstrom and Rhett Butler and all the rest of them, they know goddamn well that we're fucked and that there's not one shred of hope. So why do they keep clinging, just clinging to this obvious fucking myth uh, that there's a fucking shred of hope uh, when we're when we're obviously fucked, and uh, 
so I, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around uh, clueless fucking morons looking at the incontrovertible evidence on the fucking table that there is no future here. There is no future. Why do you keep acting like there's a fucking future? Well, guess what? I, to this very day, guys, to this very day, I am still holding out hope that uh, Dulcinea is going to change her fucking mind. Uh, you know, these borderline personalities, they have been known to change their minds. You, you know, I, I, I'm just hoping that uh, against all odds, uh, that she is going to change her mind and and understand that she is the uh, you, you know that she is my woman I am the man that she is supposed to be with till the fucking day she dies and she just needs to choose love over fear and, and knowing uh, you know holding uh, th this uh, absolutely fucking unadulterated horseshit uh, hope, well, not in my brain, but you know, in my heart, uh, that, that, that this fucking woman who has never had any intention, she, th this woman has never had any intention from, uh, the first day, uh, she ever met me to, uh, to fucking, uh, leave her, you know, her marriage and, and her comfortable home and, and her friends and her fucking dog or what, what else and, and come up here to join me. It's, uh, there, there is exactly zero evidence other uh, than her talking out her fucking ass uh, about uh, y you know uh, how much she loves me uh, how we are fucking soulmates uh, that you know we have this karmic spiritual connection uh, between us that obviously uh, I should be her doomer dude till the day she dies she should be my doomer chick uh, uh, other uh, other than her uh, telling me that uh, over and over again uh, for two fucking years uh, you know that the, there is zero evidence that that woman ever ever had any fucking intention of leaving her life uh, her comfortable you know her little comfort trap a uh, velvet lined rut uh, to come up here uh, to join me on my chaotic quest. Uh, exactly zero evidence. There is no chance. There is no chance uh, I have any future with this fucking woman. I need to get on, uh, get on with your fucking life, Hambone. And, and you know, and find you, uh, you know, two fucking years of my life, uh, I have I have put on hold, uh, waiting uh, for this woman to make up her fucking mind to to come join me, and then have her make up her mind the other direction, uh, you, you know. I, I mean, this fucking flip-flopping th that anybody, you know, getting involved with someone with a borderline personality, uh, you don't know what the fuck you're going to get uh, from day to day. So maybe tomorrow she's going to fucking wake up and, and change her mind again. And then, of course, if she does that and comes up here and joins me, and then, then, then I can say, well, 100% of the evidence uh, shows that one day uh, the, the woman you love, your doomer chick forever, she's going to fucking wake up and, and decide she wants to run off with some other man. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. But, uh, you know, this fucking hopium uh, that, you know, otherwise intelligent people 
uh, believing that this obvious fucking horseshit. It ain't gonna fucking happen. You know? There, there's no more future for this fucking planet uh, than there is for me and Dulcinea. Uh, it, ain't, it ain't gonna fucking happen. I get it. But but I but I can't fucking drop it. I mean, th this is why it's just it, it obviously it's just hardwired into our clueless fucking moron little monkey brains uh, that we're so fucking terrified of, of of whatever that we cling to to these to, to, this, you know completely ridiculous uh, hopes. Uh, about some fucking future that that's never gonna fucking happen. You know, people. I guess people. You know, is it? Uh, of course. Uh, I guess they would. You know, is it fear? Is it fear of the planet falling, collapsing around them, or is it fear? that their cushy little fucking lifestyles are going to be interrupted. Uh, that technology is going to come save us. You know, they, they act like uh, the, the, these people spouting this motherfucking bullshit uh, about how the motherfucking Green New Deal and their little fucking solar panels and windmills and electric cars and vegan diets and all of this shit are, are, are going to do a fucking thing, and, and, and I guess it's this, you know, I love this term, virtue signaling. And the one good thing that came out of these fucking masks was this term, virtue signaling. That, that, is, that is just these fucking little uh, deluded greeny lefties, virtue signaling, that they give a fuck about this planet. They don't give a fuck about this planet. They give a fuck. Uh, about their cushy little lifestyles uh, being uh, being interrupted, uh, this inconvenient interruption to their cushy little comfort trap, velvet line ruts that they uh, that is what uh, they're praying for uh, behind their fucking virtue signaling uh, uh, about saving the fucking planet. Look at that bald eagle. All right, two bald eagles. He was swooping down. He was going to get something, maybe somebody's cat, but I guess he aborted. He aborted his dive. Bald eagle aborted his dive. We almost saw a bald eagle uh, take out somebody's cat, probably. But anyway, uh, I, I guess I, I understand. Uh, the, these fucking apocaloptimists uh, that Dulcinea has uh, that Dulcinea has fucking uh, explained it to me that we're otherwise intelligent college educated people claiming they have 148 IQs uh, still uh, clearly seeing the apocalypse of any relationship between me and Dulcinea, yet I'm holding out fucking hope uh, that, you know, some fucking miracle is going to fall out of left field. Uh, anyway. And all these fucking dead trees. These fir trees. I don't know what is going on with the fir trees up here. I'm glad I don't have any fucking fir trees on my property. And anyway, I got to get back to paying attention to my driving. Get out there and enjoy your hopium soaked apocaloptimism while you still can because I don't give a fuck what you think, or David Attenborough, or uh, Johan Rockstrom, we're fucked. So cling to your little fucking fantasies while you still can, and I will cling to mine. 
Bye, guys.